r slash ask reddit asks what's something you're glad your friend introduced you to he introduced me to his closest friends all really great people now we all have good times together and share so many things of mutual interest it's really opened up my world in a way i hadn't previously thought possible that's beautiful the best gift anyone can get is new friends or maybe second best a flamethrower would be pretty damn hard to beat sleep seriously i stayed up all night had shitty sleep hygiene and poor mental health we lived together for six months and she helped me get on a sleep routine changed my life it's incredible just how much difference a decent sleep schedule can make i haven't had to use an alarm in years now and i always wake up at the same time and don't feel like shit not to mention just how much more productive during the day you can be i feel like everything i like was introduced i'm shit at discovering things on my own but i'll say sushi this i was always the guy who gave people the care and stare because they ate raw food until one day my friend told me to shut up and just try a piece now i'm planning to gorge myself on sushi as soon as the lockdown ends new music it's always hard for me to figure out what i like and they helped give me so much from the experiences i got out of it i mostly listen to electronic music now and it all started because i had a variety of friends share with me different artists making very different styles there's such an insane number of genres and unique sounds out there so being able to find some that resonate with me is really exciting rock climbing it's become my favorite form of exercise not to mention how fun it is edit for everyone asking a rock climbing gym will have all the resources you need to get started if you don't have any climber friends oh my god me too and then through climbing i've met some of the most incredible people not to mention how enjoyable and addictive it is the fact that you can cook your eggs in your noodles while you're boiling them you can cook a lot of things in your noodles while you're boiling them like vegetables basically anything else that you can cook by boiling just look up how long you need to boil each thing then put them into the pot at different times so they all finish at the same time my wife 37 years ago i have a similar one his wife my girlfriend and his wife are now really good friends and i love the fact we can do things as a group of four to clarify i mean my friend's wife not tops i tell people all the time the best thing i got out of my 4.5 years thirty thousand dollar business and amp economics degree was when my friend gave me a john mayer cd back in 2002 literally the reason i started playing guitar now it's my career d and amp d I would have never played otherwise and it's so much fun. Same. For years, years, my friend from university suggested we play DNAMP, D during a weekend. Every time, I shot him down. Pretending to be an orc or an elf or a whatever the fuck wasn't my idea of a good time. Then a couple of years ago someone I was dating introduced me to it, and it was dope. Kill some goblins, eat some cheese, drink some beers. I'm not sure if it was the fact that I was older or the fact that I'd finally got over myself a little bit, but I got way into it. Like, way into it. Like, a file of notes thicker than some novels into it. I finally got a chance to DM for the friend who'd kept pushing it all those years ago, we're at opposite ends of the country now, and it was incredibly fun, even with the 10,000 watt I told you so grin he had the whole time, themselves. My friend introduced me to pineapples, now I like pineapples more than my friends. A friend of mine accidentally introduced me to the Hitachi magic wand when I was helping her move and it dropped out of one of the boxes. She was entirely nonplussed. I think she laughed and said, my baby, I was somewhat of a prude at the time and was suitably scandalized at her being so open about having sex toys, especially the kind that you had to actually plug in like a fucking kitchen appliance. Yeah, that lasted all of 30 seconds after I bought one for myself on her later recommendation. Who oh boy. Settlers of Catan. My sister is notorious for buying people gifts they won't like, just to try and impose her own interests on other people. This time it actually worked. My husband and I have been playing a lot during the lockdown. My friend introduced me to the definition of narcissistic personality disorder. I was going through a lot with my family and constantly being gaslighted. She sent me articles all about it and I never felt more relieved to know I wasn't insane and I was actually being severally manipulated. This is a god one. Happy to hear that you got help. Minecraft. 
I was mid-twenties and they spent years trying to get me to play but I thought it was a kid's game. I finally played one day and loved it so much that I spent the next four years way more into it than they ever were. There are just so many ways to play. You can treat it like a kid's game. You can play it like a kid. You can be an architect. You can be an engineer. Literally anyone can find something that interests them. Buying better clothes. I used to buy everything at Goodwill even though I saved up enough money to spend it. Nothing matched and it didn't fit properly. Eventually my friend took me out, told me to take some pride in my looks, and bought me new clothes. Looking back, I looked like the definition of a poor virgin. Thanks Adam. Goodwill and thrift shops in general can have great stuff. You just have to be able to recognize quality. I got a $1000 tuxedo for $9.